What if you could send hundreds of personalized videos to your prospects of you pitching your services while at the same time you're showing a recording of their website or maybe their social media profile? But the thing is, you only recorded that video one time. Well, I found a tool on AppSumo that does exactly that, and the deal ends in a few days. By the way, if you're looking for quality tools you could use to grow your business, I've been compiling a list of uh, tools that I personally have used in my business and can highly vouch for in this Notion spreadsheet. These are my must-have SaaS tools for digital entrepreneurs. I update this spreadsheet on a frequent basis and the only way you can grab this for free is by clicking the link down in the description below. Now this tool is called Replic. This will allow you to generate personalized outreach videos at scale and I will be doing a full review and demo. Also at the end, I'll share my thoughts comparing Replic versus Sender. It looks like this deal will end in just a few days. Now I do like how this deal is structured because it looks like you do get all of the features regardless of which tier you have. And the main difference is mainly in the total number of credits you have per month. Okay, so Replic essentially allows you to generate personalized assets at scale. You can generate personalized text, video, landing pages, and also AI images. So this is helpful because if you want to do cold outreach to hundreds of thousands of people, you don't need to manually, you know, record a video, um, write text or an image yourself. You could upload a CSV file of all of your contacts names and emails, and then Replic will use that information to generate these personalized assets for you. And then you could automate it by copying and pasting a code in your email autoresponder. So you could send out these personalized uh, assets all at once. Let me show you how you can generate text. You first need to give it your company's unique selling proposition. You can manually add it here or just give it your website URL. So I put my URL here and click on generate your USP automatically. Okay, so it crawled the website and it explains what my company does and it generated this unique selling proposition. Next, we need to enter the prompt that will generate these personalized texts. What's cool is you could use um, different variables such as your company's unique selling proposition, uh, the company name, their first name, or a custom variable. You also have the option to use one of their top performing prompts right here. So let's try this first one. So it's going to mention the reason, problem, social proof, and a CTA. But first, let's test it. So I'm going to add my prospects URL then click on test your prompt here. So the tool crawled the website and then it generated this personalized text. Now I did find one issue, so that is the name. Unfortunately, I did not find this name anywhere um, on this page. So I'm not exactly sure where it got that, but it looks like it did read the website pretty accurately. So it said, saw that your book online feature is front and center, but lacks smart targeting or personalized engagement flows for new versus returning patients. So it got patients correct because this is a dental practice. And regarding the book online feature, it's right here. Now I probably wouldn't call it a feature, I would call it a button. So it did get some parts right. Now if you don't like it, you could always improve the prompt to make sure the AI will generate exactly what you want. Now let's click on next. Now this is where you can import a list of all of your prospects. If you want to upload a file, um, it should contain up to 30 prospects and less than 50 columns. Otherwise, the data you import won't be in the resulting file. So just keep that in mind. And these are the exact files you can upload, or you can copy and paste your table, your table data right here. Or if you just want to test it out, you could use their examples, then click on next. Okay, so now the AI is working through it and generating customized, personalized text for a list of prospects. Okay, so it is in queue, but let me show you one that is already finished. So I'm going to click on preview, and these are three prospects, and this is the personalized copy. So this one is mentioning John. In terms of the text, I think it is just okay. I definitely would want to massage this text pretty heavily to make sure it really sounds like me and less like AI generated. 
So this one is for HubSpot, and this one is for Salesforce, and then this one is for a contact from Instantly, and this one, his name is Robert. Next, I wanna show you how you can personalize video at scale. So you have the option to choose a video background. So in your prospecting video, you can choose to show um, that prospect's website, their LinkedIn profile, a Google keyword search, their Facebook profile, Instagram profile, so on and so forth. So I really like how they do give you these options here. Let's click on websites. You can either generate a personalized greeting and video background or just a personalized video background. I'm gonna do this first one. So you can upload a video file or record one right now. So if you want to record a video uh, right now, you just click on start recording and the video instantly starts recording. Unfortunately, there is no like three second countdown that kind of helps me prep. Um, before I, you know, say my my spiel. Um, so that's one thing I don't like is that it automatically records once you click on the button and then you can stop here and then preview the video. You could submit it or restart the recording. But I recorded a video earlier, so I'm just gonna upload um, that video, then click on next. Now you do have the option to add a second video after your introduction video. Now this could be good if you want to possibly sell specific services for a specific set of prospects, maybe a group for your SEO services, another group for your social media services. So you would differentiate that by including a second video after your introductory video. But for this example, I'm just gonna click on no, continue with this video only. And then this is where you upload your prospect list, or you could use their example. So I'm gonna do that, then click on next. And this is where you can edit how your prospecting video uh, looks like. So your video will start as a little bubble on the bottom left-hand corner, but you can scale it larger after say maybe like five seconds. So after five seconds, you can choose like a big bubble or maybe full screen. Let me do a big bubble and you could see the example right here. And then you could, you know, add your video title right here, the video description. You also have the option to change the video position and the shape. And what's very important is you can add your calendar. So I added my LunaCal calendar right here. And what's also uh, very powerful and important is you can add a call to action button. So I can say, let's connect. And then you could add a link to maybe your website or a form where they can contact you. And then you could change some colors right here. And this is the important part. This is the voice cloning. So I would say this is where the power comes in. So to use the voice cloning feature, you need to um, give it your name and language. Then click on start video creation. Okay, so it is in queue, but let me show you something that is already finished. So, so here are some personalized video examples for our three prospects um, from HubSpot, Salesforce, and Instantly. So this one is a video to uh, HubSpot. Now let me play this video for you. Hello, John. I took a look at your website and I noticed a few things that could be improved to make sure it ranks higher in search engines. I look forward to chatting with you about it. Hello, John. I took a look at your website and I noticed a few- th Okay, so did you hear that personalized name? Um, it said, hello, John. Now, one thing to note is that my lips actually didn't move accurately and the audio, I think, just sounds okay. Now, let me show you the one from the Salesforce prospect. Hello, Sarah. Look at your website and I noticed a few things. Okay, so that said, hello, Sarah. And let's uh, hear the third one. Hello, Robert. Look at your website and I noticed. Okay, so I don't think it said uh, Robert too accurately. Let me play it again for you. Things that could. Hello, Robert. Look at your website and I noticed. Okay, so that's just an example of how the AI will speak out the prospect's name. And then from here, you can copy this video HTML code and then you could share it by email. So I pasted the code in my email and this is how it will look like in your email. So it says, 
video for you and then the person's name with the call to action of saying watch video. So when they click on it, um, it'll play that video. You can also click on this link right here to watch the video on this page. It does have the call to action that we added, including our calendar where they can book some time on you know, our calendar. Now I will include a link to that in the description below so you can check it out watch that AI generated personalized video, click around and see whether or not this tool is worth it for your business. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a paid account, so I can't show you the landing page um, feature, but let me show you the images. So you can choose between GPT prompt screenshots. So these are personalized images adapted to each of your prospects or personalized AI images, which are beautiful personalized AI images customized for each of your prospects. So let's do this personalized AI images. So very similar with the text version, you need to enter your prompt and you can add a variety of variables. You could also choose a prompt uh, template right here. So an image of a Starbucks coffee. You can also generate an image of a small text on a blank sheet that says reminder, follow up with the company, your company name, with their company name, or you can generate a wanted image with um, their first name and job title on it. So I ran through this already and I created an image of a Starbucks coffee. So let me show that to you right now. So these are images of Starbucks coffee with the prospect's first name. So this one says John. This is Sarah and Robert. Now the only one that looks the closest to a Starbucks cup would be uh, John right here. This one I think looks, you know, pretty cool. You could obviously tell it's AI, especially the Sarah one. And this Robert one looks cool, it's an illustration, but it looks like they put the person's name as part of the logo, so it says Robert Coffee. So I think out of these three images, the first one is my favorite. So now you can copy this image HTML code and then you could paste it inside your email like this. And to make your process faster, you can create templates. I already created one. So this one is for my video template. Then you can upload leads and then it'll use your prospects list and apply the video template, okay? Now let me quickly show you how you can create a template from scratch. So this is my video template. Now let me create a new template. So you could choose between a video template, a GPT image template, AI image, or AI email template. So let me show you the video one because I think that is the feature that most of you would be using. Then click on create another template here. You give it a name. And for the video background, you can choose between um, showing their website, a Google search, or a job listing. This is where you add the first video and a secondary second video. And you could choose where um, your video bubble will be placed. And then also the size after um, a set number of seconds have passed. And then you add all of your additional information right here, like the title. If you want a call to action button, you can add that to the template, including the calendar URL, so on and so forth. So this just makes it simpler and faster for you to generate these AI assets at scale. Now, I think what makes Replic stand out are the integrations, okay? So after you generate your personalized assets, you do have the option to download an Excel file or a CSV file, but what I wanna show you are the integrations. So you can automate things via the API, uh, Zapier, Make, and also Pabli. They also have video integrations, okay? So say for example, maybe you use a Snowvio, Closely, or High Level, like say for example, Closely. You could copy uh, this code into the Closely email autoresponder. And you need to make sure the variables you use are the following as well. So then you could send out um, outreach emails that are customized for each individual person you are outreaching to. So they make it very easy for the video integrations. They also have a sales blink right here. So you just copy and paste this code into that email template. So you could automatically send out 
personalized videos. They also have VBout and Sales Handy as well. Now, let me share my thoughts between Replic and Sender. Now, this is a Sender. Now, I think in terms of the UI, I think Sender just looks much more uh, modern, uh, more clean. But in terms of the UX, how easy it is to use, I think Replic might be a little easier. When I was using Sender, it actually took me longer to figure out how to use the tool versus a Replic. Now, what Sender has that Replic doesn't is the data enrichment, okay? So you first upload a file of your prospects, and what you could do is enrich um, that prospect data. Okay, so here you could see I enriched all of these prospects that I scraped from LinkedIn. So Sender can scrape um, people who engaged with you on LinkedIn. You could scrape their um, profile picture, their profile headline, and additional information. So if you click on Data Studio, if you don't have their email address, you could find their email, you could find their main competitors, you could verify their email, you could enrich data from their LinkedIn profile, um, find their disk personality, infer the first name from the email, uh, so on and so forth. So I really like how you can enrich data from the initial set that you upload into uh, Sender. They also have the Sender AI as well, where you can generate subheaders for the landing page that you would generate inside Sender. You can find job titles the company sells to, find the company Glassdoor review ratings, so on and so forth. But when it comes to automations, I would probably say a Replic wins here. Not only does it have a Zapier, it also has a Make and Pavly. And I really like how you can just copy and paste this HTML into any of these tools to send out the personalized uh, video. So that is really powerful. But when it comes to Sender, I don't believe there is a way to kind of copy and paste HTML code. You do have the personalized page URL for all of your prospects. You have a screenshot, personalized audio, lip sync video, and also a GIF embed. So this is the GIF embed from uh, Sender. So if they click on this, it'll go to their uh, Sender uh, landing page. Now I do like this landing page. It does look really nice. Not only can you add the calendar, but you could also add a sales deck and for all of the text, you can add their company, their name, um, their, their company name, so on and so forth. And what's cool about Sender is that it has lip syncing capabilities, okay? So let me show you this. So the name is Scott, and let me play this. Hey Scott, it's a pleasure to connect with you. So I wanted to discuss a few SEO projects. Okay, so I think it sounds better, and my lips actually moved as it was saying Scott. So in terms of the video quality, I think Sender is definitely better. But when it comes to, you know, like the integrations, um, from what I could see here under their workflows, it looks like you could only use a Zapier. So that is a limitation with Sender. So I think you could potentially use uh, both tools together in your process. So maybe you could use a Sender for your data enrichment, then create the personalized videos with Sender as well. And if you want personalized images, you could use Replic to generate the uh, personalized uh, images, you know, showing their name and also the personalized text as well, okay? So you could generate this inside Replic. And then you could use Replic to send out you know, the automation, right? So you can just, you know, copy and paste this HTML into your email autoresponder. I'm not sure, you might have to speak with support. I don't know if you can add a sender uh, URL in this HTML and try to hack it where you share the sender video and not the replic video. If you wanna figure that out, um, you'll have to speak with support to see if that is possible. But regardless, if you want to send personalized video from Replic, you could easily just copy and paste this HTML.